Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Audra fired for refusing London job Jack's mystery COO. The Young and the Restless YNR recap for Monday, January 29th, shows that Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, and Summer Newman, Alison Lanier, will both be late for their evening together, but they'll immediately begin their official first date. Chance will admire Summer's attire at the GCAC before they awkwardly converse over drinks, attempting to find out why they are so uncomfortable. Summer will point out that this is the first time they've considered becoming more than friends, but Chance believes the solution is to get to know each other better. That will set off a fun game of questions about each other, and Chance and Summer will fall into easy conversation. Summer and Chance will discuss their previous heartbreaks, but Summer will concede that something has changed for her. Chance will offer drinking when Summer expresses that she feels lighter and more hopeful. Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, at Newman Media will bring Audra Charles, Zuleika Silver, back to her office because she is dissatisfied with how things were left. Audra will apologize for overstepping and tell Nikki that they will not discuss anything personal from now on. Nikki will believe it is for the best and hope Audra understands what she is about to ask her. Nikki will no longer feel comfortable working with Audra because she will feel scrutinized. Audra will believe Nikki is preparing to fire her, but Nikki will say she is only transferring Audra to London so she can prepare to launch Newman Media's new international business. Nikki will act as if this is a fantastic chance for Audra, but Audra will believe she is trying to send her off to London to avoid a reminder of her drinking. Audra will refuse to leave Genoa City, believing it is a terrible mistake for Nikki to get rid of her after losing Claire Grace, Haley Aaron. Stress can be a big trigger for alcoholism and Nikki will be causing more of it for herself. Nikki will be unhappy that her problems have resurfaced, so she will accuse Audra of proving her point. Nikki will be forced to let Audra go after she refuses to take the London gig on Monday's episode of YNR. After promising a generous severance package and a wonderful letter of recommendation, Nikki will remind Audra of the NDA she signed. Audra will swear to keep it and sincerely hope that Nikki overcomes her disease. Nikki will quickly go for her flask as Audra leaves, but she will put it back and instead phone Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman. At society, Jack will see Victor Newman, Eric Braden, and join him at the bar, claiming he ran into Nikki and learned about the Newman family's most recent trauma. Jack will offer to listen if Victor needs to chat and will eventually share a drink with him. Victor will appear angered by Jack's questions regarding Nikki and Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinley, but he will tell him that they are managing the situation. Although Victor will wonder what Jack truly wants to know, Jack will insist that he is simply worried and reaching out. Now that Victor has addressed Jack's concerns, he will push him to stay out of the family business. When Nikki makes an SOS call to Jack, he'll say he has to run off see Diane Jenkins Abbott, Susan Walters, and leave Victor alone. Audra will soon come along and give Victor an update on what happened with Nikki, so he will offer her another employment at Newman Enterprises. Audra will be ready to move on to other projects after turning Victor down and promising to honor her NDA. She will also indicate that it will be a clarifying evening. Nikki will explain everything that just transpired with Audra and be concerned about the mess she is generating at Newman Media, but Jack will try to calm her down. After Jack implies they can fix it, he'll assume the ship has sailed on Audra, who understands how to keep a grudge. Nikki will reject the idea of Nick Newman, Josh Morrow, or Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, standing in for Audra since Victor wants them to work together right now. Victoria must focus on Claire, therefore she will not be a possibility either. Jack will also recommend that Nate Hastings, Sean Dominic, or Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, take Audra's COO position, but Nikki does not trust Nate or envision herself working with Sally. Jack will agree that Sally already has her own business to run, but he will eventually determine that he has someone else in mind for the job, who Nikki will not turn down. Although Jack will not reveal his mysterious Newman Media COO choice just yet, he will reassure Nikki and thank her for having the courage to call him today. While Nikki and Jack are having a close moment, Victor will appear outside the locked office door and shout out to see whether Nikki is there. According to the Young and the Restless teasers, Jack and Nikki will face a difficult situation. Young and Restless preview, Victor delivers unsettling news to Victoria and Nick, and Summer celebrates with, spoiler. 
In a young and restless preview for the week of January 29th to February 2nd, there's no holding back as crazy is on the loose. Read on for more information, then watch the video below. After an intense meeting with Claire, Nikki left thinking about getting a drink, but instead contacted Jack. Nikki tells Jack, my whole life is spiraling out of control, and it's all my fault. Jack responds, whoa, whoa. We will fix it. I actually have an idea. Summer and Kyle's divorce was finalized, and Kyle sensed Summer's attraction to Chance and was pleased for her. Summer appears to be taking advantage of Sharon's absence to celebrate her divorce and whatever the future holds for her and her crush. Summer informs Chance as they go out to supper, something has changed for me. I feel lighter. Chance responds, cheers to that. After conspiring with Nate, Audra found herself on the receiving end of an enraged Nikki's anger. Next week, Nate tells Audra, you didn't resign, did you? Nikki fired you. Victoria appeared to have reached an agreement with Claire, offering her a position in the Newman family if she chose to accept it. Nikki also went to Claire to inform her about her mother when she was younger. Claire was still unsure where she fit in. Unfortunately, things are going to get worse for everyone involved. Victor informs Victoria and Nick, my security team called me last night and told me there was a huge fire at the institution where Jordan was incarcerated. Victoria goes on to remark, meaning that Jordan could be dead, or she could be out there again, ready to do God knows what. Make sure to read our Young and Restless. Christine Blair's new adoption plans ditches the idea of love for motherhood. According to YNR teasers, Christine Blair's, Laura Lee Bell, expectations for a love reunion with rocker Danny Romilotti, Michael Damian, were dashed when she found him kissing Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford. She appears certain that she will not pursue anything with her former flame until he confronts his unresolved feelings for Red. Will this change her future personal plans? YNR spoilers, Christine Blair has some regrets. According to YNR previews, during the Christine-centric episode in November 2023, one big point that came up was that she never got the opportunity to be a mother to her own child. She had a beneficial influence on Daniel Romilotti's, Michael Grazia Day, and Opportunity Chancellor's, Connor Floyd, upbringings, and she eased into the role of stepmother for Heather Stevens, Dale Bloom, nonetheless, she never got a meaningful opportunity at motherhood. Could she opt to give up on love and pursue another personal goal? YNR Spoiler, Christine Blair's Adoption Hope Cricket may be past childbearing age, and even if she could, she may want not to. Why go through nine months of pregnancy if you can adopt a child in need? Young and Restless Spoilers, Christine Blair's new adoption plans ditches the idea of love for motherhood. The bug may be unmarried, but she is well-established, successful, and financially independent enough to be considered for adoption. Given that both of her big loves have failed, miserably, she may be ready to abandon romance totally and consider another method to satisfy her personal life, such as becoming a mother. This is soap opera land, so the entire procedure may not be as difficult as viewers believe, and her background as a lawyer will give her an advantage in everything, even the legal criteria necessary to move everything forward. Of course, she would have the support of loved ones in Genoa City, and motherhood would be an exciting path for Christine to start on on her own. Could Christine abandon the notion of love for good and become a single mother? Please share your ideas in the comments section. Watch the popular. Watch the CBS soap every day to catch all of the drama, and check this site frequently for the latest Young and the Restless news, updates, and spoilers.